competition. Competition is a part of life. Even when we don't realize it, we are doing it. When we were put to school, the practice that we had for striving the best grades is what called competition. Similarly, it goes with competitive exams too. When we compete in terms of national level exams, that is what called competitive exams. So friends, I'm Ria Khwani from Biotechnica. I'm back here with the most important topics for Gate Biotechnology 2023. This exam is going to be conducted by IIT Kanpur this year. So I'm back here with slides with most important topics that needs not to be skipped, but needs to be practiced and revised while you are preparing for this exam. So guys, shall we start? Yes? So yes, let's begin. So the question you might be having, will the syllabus become just by doing an important topic? So yes, it is. Even you can not just complete your syllabus, not just important topic, but you can also secure a single rank in GATE by technology as well as GATE Excel exams. So I am here with the core sections that comes under GATE by technology syllabus. So firstly, we have biochemistry. Next, we have cellular biology, that is what called cell biology. Third, we have molecular biology. Fourth is immunology. Tools and techniques, that is what called methods in biology. Next, we have plant, animal and microbial technology together. Next, microbiology. Then we have genetics and evolutionary part. Bioinformatics, tools and databases, engineering, mathematics, and last we have general aptitude. The first part that we have over here is biomolecule. So what all topics in, are involved is biomolecules. First is carbohydrate. Second is protein, lipids, and then DNA. We should be knowing the most important mechanism for their synthesis, enzymes involved in all of their metabolism. Next we have is protein structures and functions. What all things are important in this part? In this you have to mainly study the Ramachandran plot. What are the four different kinds of protein structures do we have? What the bonding involves in these structures? Sometimes they just ask for the definition in a single line for motifs and domain. So difference between motif and domain should be clear to you all. So the third topic that we have here is enzyme and its kinetics. This is again the most important topic under biochemistry section. So you should not miss this part, I would say. So what all things you need to study under this is properties. What are the properties of enzyme? What are their classes? What are the six classes of enzyme? How different enzymes have their different cleavage site? Like they give a sequence. You just need to tell the fragments if any of the enzyme is asked. Like if they ask for the cleavage pattern, you should know that. For some of the enzymes, they ask frequently. Next is enzyme inhibition. The most important topics again under the enzyme and its kinetics voila section. Okay. So you should also be knowing about how the enzyme inhibition is regulated. Now the last topic under this section is plasma membrane. This topic usually comes under cell biology section, but in gate biotechnology, this topic is mentioned in biochemistry section. So I'm explaining it here itself. So cell mem plasma membrane, you should be knowing about the structural aspect of plasma membrane. What are the functions of plasma membrane? Sometimes they ask for the most accepted model for plasma membrane. You should be knowing that single and Nicholson model. All right. So what is the membrane transport? What is the difference between active and passive transport? What is simple and facilitated diffusion? You should be knowing that. So let's proceed further. Coming to cellular biology, most favorite unit of all the students, Hannah, this is simple too. This is simpler than biochemistry. I know that. 
So let's come into this. We should be knowing the prokaryotic and eukaryotic structural differences. This is very simple. We are studying since we were in bachelors and masters. So you just need to recall all those concepts. Okay. Next we have a cell cycle. What is mitosis? What is meiosis? What are different stages of mitosis and meiosis? What are the chromosomal content on the cell phases of cell cycle? We should also be knowing about the cell cycle. What is cell cycle? What all checkpoints do it have? What are the regulations of cell cycle? We should be also knowing about the cell signaling. What are the type of cell signaling? How does a cell communicate? What are the receptors involved? What are the classes of cell signaling? What are the related signaling molecules related to these specific receptors? Also, the knowledge of apoptosis, necrosis and autophagy is needed. Last, cell junctions like cadherin, integrin, basic mechanism, basic concepts just we need and the sorting mechanism. How post and co-translation modification differs? What is the signal sequence specific for the organelle transport? What is the signal sequence that is specific for the co-translation transport? ER mechanism, how it is does? Like it is following co-translation or post-translation? Simple questions only. Let's proceed next. Now comes our molecular biology. This is again the most important section. Okay. So what comes here is molecular structures of genes and chromosomes. Simple only genes. All right. Chromosomes. Here we have to mainly focus on U, chromatin as well as heterochromatin. Sometimes they also ask about the sequence of telomerase enzyme. What is the sequence of telomerase enzyme? Sometimes they focus on the bending pattern of eukaryotin as well as heterochromatin. Next, we have the very basic processes like we used to study since our bachelors and masters. What is it? It is replication. It is transcription. It is intron splicing. It is tRNA and RNA splicing. Next we have is translation. We have protein synthesis. So all these mechanisms you just need to know the enzymes involved in a thing big. You know? Enzymes involved, what is the mechanism? How does it activate? What are the elongation and initiation factors related to it? And how does it regulate? Next, we're going to study is what are the factors that causes mutation and what are those mutation processes? What are the types of mutation? What is the mutation involved in the sickle cell anemia? All these things you should know. The last topic over here is DNA damage and repair. How the DNA is damaged and what all repairs we have inside us to repair that. These things we should study under micromolecular biology section. And also RNA interference. So let's proceed further. The next section we have over here is immunology. Again, it is the most important and favorite topic for all. I know it. I also love it. So let's proceed. This is the fourth topic for us in gate biotechnology service. So what first topic we have here is molecules. What are the molecules involved? What do you mean by molecules here? Like TLR, what are the PAMs related to TLR? What is TLR9 function specificity? All these things comes under this section only. What is antibody? 
what is the structure of antibody what are the types of antibody do we have we have five classes of antibodies all right so what is their structures which antibody is responsible for which kind of function like this only they ask like simple language and very simple you have to study the function part next is antigen antibody reactions what is elisa what is ria hey my myself also is ria now that ria not that ria immunology valeria next le spot assay so many a times they focus on le spot assay so what is the method that is used for the uh, like for measuring the concentration of cytokine serum so that is le spot remember this so next we have is complement activation they generally ask about how mb lactin pathway work they generally ask and now match the following types so you, you should learn that too next is what are the types of lymphoid organs what are the different types of immune response that we have inside of our body so the next topic that we have here is monoclonal antibody production what all you need to have prepared for this is about the b cell and the myeloma cell what if b cell is sgpr2 negative or positive just this sometimes they also ask about the antibiotics role like aminoptarin what pathway does it block so what pathway is it de novo salvage find it out so what next we have we have vaccines so hypersensitivity autoimmunity just types and examples related to this it will work the last we have msc classes what all things are important for msc classes msc classes 1 and 2 just the differences between them how the if these uh, classes is to be cleaved then what are the fragments that we get in electrophoresis just this simple you can do it yes you can do it so what all things msc first and msc second so let us proceed further yes so next section that we have is tools and techniques this is again what called methods in biology many students are afraid from this techniques part i know that but yes this is the important section for get back technology you should not skip i would say so the first topic that we have here is techniques techniques itself so what is spectroscopy what is spectroscopy under this you should be knowing uv visible and cd spectroscopy the most all right uv and cd i'm writing it for you here you can refer to this uv and it's cd all right how cd is used for the secondary protein structure determination this also they just ask in a simple language you should mention there and pick a correct option like it's cd spectroscopy sometimes they ask a core numerical based on uv visible spectroscopy like they ask for beer lambert law you may be knowing it's beer lambert's law the third techniques we have here is chromatography what chromatography and next electrophoresis also a knowledge on crispr cas is necessary because nowadays crispr cas is finding a way out like it is coming now it is evolving more so crispr cas you should know they may ask in upcoming gate bat technology some till now they haven't dug but they may ask because it is mentioned in their syllabus the next we have is pcr PCR and its modification will work. Like what is a kind of, uh, like what is the function of hot start, hot start PCR? This you should know. Next we have here is vectors. What are the different kinds of vectors? What are the vectors that are used for the expression of protein? Any protein needs to be expressed. So what vectors can be used then? What are the ends restriction enzyme? What are the classes? the most frequently used restriction enzyme is type 2 all right next we have to study is blue white screening what is blue white screening suppose if i am cloning a gene inside a cell how would i know that gene is cloned it's just because of alpha complementation it's just because of blue white screening all right 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू स्टडी द मॉलिकुलर मार्कर्स सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ मॉलिकुलर मार्कर्स दे एक्स अबाउंड दे जनरली फोकस ऑन आर एफ एल पी आर एफ पी डी एंड ए एफ एल पी द मोस्ट आई वुड से एंड इन दैट टू दे फोकस ऑन लाइक दे एक्स अबाउट डोमिनेंट एज वेल एज को डोमिनेंट मार्कर्स ऑल राइट सो यू शुड बी नोइंग दैट लास्ट वी हैव डी एन ए सिक्वेंसिंग पार्ट दे एक्स अबाउट द सिक्वेंस कॉम्प्लीमेंटेरिटी in case of maxim gilbert sequencing or other sequences also they ask like they also focus on automatic sequencing part so just have a glance at dna sequencing while apart so the next core topic that we have here is plant animal and microbial technology all right so the first topic under this section is plant growth regulators now what is this plant growth regulators this is nothing but plant growth hormones all right so you should be knowing about the basic basic hormone major hormones that is every time it is asked in exams and what it is it is auxin what is it auxin sometimes they focus on gibralic acid and sometimes cytokine so what else you need to know under this topic is this biosynthesis what is the biosynthesis of these hormones what are the examples and just the functions nothing else so what do we have next here is secondary metabolite production what does it include it include terpenes phenolics what is the function of terpene phenolics what are the classes of these compounds so that you need to cover under this topic third we have here is transgenic plant and animal again the simple topic i would say the questions every time they ask from this topic so you should not skip it so what are the direct and indirect gene transfer method it's very simple you should at least have a glance once next we have here is selection marker what is selection marker what are different types of selection markers do we use for our experiment what is a kind of reporter genes we use for uh, in laboratory for our any kind of research works what is the basic difference between them all right what is the micro and macro carrier systems where it is being used so this is used in animal biotechnology so how questions are being asked from this topic they just ask for cephadex like cephadex column now 150 where it is being used so that you have to study all right so the last topic that we have here is industrial enzymes and purification so what do you need to study in industrial enzymes and purification is what all sorts of microorganism is responsible for the synthesis of different enzyme like i'll say you one example coagulase it is synthesized from which kind of microorganism only this so how do they ask all these question this last part i'm saying industrial enzymes wala they generally ask in Uh, match the following type okay so if i am knowing one or two option you can easily omit that part as yes, okay so let's proceed further so the next part that we have here is microbiology so what all things cover here is comparison between bacteria archaea bacteria as well as eukaryotic cells sometimes they just ask like csir as also asked how archaea bacteria is more related to eukaryotic what is a glycerol backbone in case of bacteria as well as archaea bacteria what is a glycerol backbone in case of eukaryotic simple things all right next interactions what does it include interaction human interaction yes you may say okay so what kind of interactions it is mutualism this commensalism very simple things all right third we have culture technique very important i would say very very important why because every time every time i would write every time they ask 
not just one question, sometimes two or three questions from CFU calculation itself. So it's very important. You should know the formula and how to like solve any numerical related to colony forming unit. What is it? It is a culture technique for microorganisms. Okay. So next what we have is growth kinetics. So what all sorts of questions are being asked here? Graph as well as numerical based. Again, they just give you a pictorial representation on one graph about kinetics, whether it would be animal or uh, this microorganisms. Okay, it would be same for both kinetics formula. So you need to select the one best pictorial representation for kinetics again. Next, media. Sometimes they ask for media too. So better not to skip this topic. Maybe they ask this time. Should just have a glance. Just have to learn the media for one or two important microorganism. And you will be doing it. Next we have is nitrogen fixation. Again, the most important part. Everyone knows it, Hannah? Yes, it is. What are the processes that are involved in nitrogen fixation? What are the complexes that are involved? Is it nitrogenous? How many ATPs are used? All these things, just basic things. I'm saying just basic, not deep. Because gate every time now, like CSIR, it asks only specifically. It is always to the point. What? Gate. I'm talking about gate. Whether it is gate biotechnology or gate life sciences. So what next? Antibiotics. We take antibiotics. You also take it. Hannah, we take it. So what is the mode of action of antibiotics? How does they act? Do they act on cell wall of microorganisms? Or do they inhibit the protein synthesis? That's it. They just act skin, match the following form. So proceeding further, we have genetics and evolutionary biology together. This section is together in the gate biotechnology syllabus. That's why I have put it together itself. So what all topics you need to cover is population genetics. This is the most important part. This is the most important part. How do they ask question from this part? They ask for, what did they ask? They ask for allele frequency. So what you need to study here is, how can you solve for allele frequency? You have idea for this? Yes, you have it. You have studied this. Where? In your bachelor's as well as master's too. So what is it? It is Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Hana? So what is it? It is Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Please do not skip this topic. Whatever I am recommending or suggesting it important, please do not try to skip it. If you're not getting it, try to learn it from another source. You will definitely get it. This is just simple things. Next we have is pedigree analysis. So need not to worry about this too. Just learn pedigree ka formula. Important, important pedigree. How pedigree is to be solved? Not just I'm saying ki how it is to be calculated, a pedigree wala thing. Just a pictorial representation you should know. Right? Next we have here is evolution part. What is natural selection given by Darwin? Na? Natural selection, we are also following that theory. And what all other theories that are related to evolution? Just match of the following is being asked. Nothing need not to be worried. Just this much is asked in evolution. And next you have to be study about speciation and its type. What are the different kinds of species? Like it's allopatric. They generally focus on like allopatric or peripatric or parapatric the most. Only one is left then sympatric. Study that too. So next topic that we have here is bioinformatics tools and databases. I know most of the students would be scared of this topic. All right. Hannah? So if you are scared of this topic, study it once. Because if you are going to appear for gate biotechnology and if you are attempting this portion, it will be scoring for you. And if you want a single rank, then you should always study. Because most of the students now, they skip this part because they think like it is very difficult for them. But it's actually not difficult. 
if you are studying just a basic of all these topics you would be learning all those things all right so what all here is important is blast and its type what is blast how to align the sequences it is blast simple what are the types of blast so what are the types of blast? that is t blast most of the time it is asked what t blast most of the time it is asked sometimes they ask for n blast what is what all these are nucleotide and protein blast types okay so next we have here is alignment of sequences so what alignment of sequences we have two types of alignments one is local as well as other is global that's it learn the basic difference the third point that we have here is importance of e value this is what this is again comes into blocks so what is the importance of e value like if my e value is 0.998 so what does it mean it shows like my sequence is matching or not that's it so this only simple things you need to study guys next we have is cladogram dendrogram fanatics and cladistic differences just you need to study the definition for this you will be doing that the last that we have here is multiple sequence alignment multiple sequence alignment so what all sorts of questions are being asked here the judge asks for example like what is the example of msa uh, like they ask for mainly tea coffee or they ask for also they ask for cluster w that's it that's it if you are starting or do teen example it will work it will definitely work so the last second part that we have here is engineering mathematics what is engineering mathematics again biology students now you may be thinking about what like why we need to study this engineering mathematics again this is a scoring part and see what all topics are included here is included probability where it is actually studied it is studied in general aptitude part so don't skip it just try to read it because we are already doing a uh, practice pyq's practice for probability now it's coming under general aptitude so it will be practiced here also all right so probability student just just skip engineering mathematics part they just think like ki, it is very tough they just they also not just turn the syllabus and see like what all topics are included so if you see that you will find probability there that's what it is mentioned in the syllabus all right next we have here is statistics again tough now no if you will study once you will get it definitely so what all tests they ask t test chi square tests they are their favorite tests every time they focus on this mainly test not anything else third topic that we have here is central tendency every time we study for mean median mode as well as standard deviation so you should study these topics too next is parametric and non parametric test just study the differences that's what i have mentioned here is what differences that also their examples also examples like which test is involved in comes under parametric as well as non parametric test the last topic that we have here is linear algebra if you want to leave it you can leave it if you are completing other important topics that i have already mentioned it if you are leaving one eigen values linear algebra it it will not create a big difference okay so you are allowed to leave this topic if you are not getting you can leave and if you are getting it you have completing your syllabus on time and you have your extra time then you should proceed with this topic too so the last and the uh, biggest you know scoring topic i would say for every exam what is it it is what is it 
general aptitude. Common na for every exam, whether it, whether it is CSIR, whether it is DBT, whether it is gate biotechnology or gate life science, everything. So what you have to do it for general aptitude? Like what all topics I have mentioned, they can uh, shift to some other topics too. So what you all need to do is you just practice PYQs. PYQs for what? General aptitude. If you are doing it for past 10 years for gate biotechnology, if you have completed that, do it for gate life sciences. If you have completed that too, then proceed hierarchy wise. Like proceed little upgraded version, DBT. If you have done it for DBT too, do it for CSI. Okay. So what all topics are included in this? Coding, decoding. Simple, na. Next, series formation. You love it, na? I also love it. Next, we have it, profit and loss. Next, symmetry. Next, speed, distance and time. And the last thing we have is directions. Last thing we have is directions. So, that's it. Done. So, I would like to conclude my topic by saying just a single quote for you all students and for you all friends. You are just like me itself. So, it is not about how bad you want it. It is not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you are willing to work for it. It's about how hard you are willing to work for it. Got it? Yes. So work hard for your goal. So thank you. That's it from my side. So if you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also share to your friends and colleagues because whosoever is preparing for this gate exam. So can get this video and can get this important topic so that they can also achieve their goal in short period of time. So that's it. Thank you so much. We'll meet you till then. Bye bye. Take care and have a nice day. All the best.